the flood that swept through the Aude region of France was swift and overwhelming. Several months' worth of rain fell in just a few hours through the overnight of October 14, 2018, leaving roads blocked in some areas. Hi, I'm Chris May, writer, producer, and host of This Day in Weather History, now in its second year from the Weather Network in Canada. In some of those worst-hit areas, flood water was said to have been as high as 7 meters, also known as 23 feet. Did happen this day in weather history. What happens when a month's worth of rain falls in just hours? Water that deep while it is rushing is sure to tear down everything in its path. The Oud region in the south of France is essentially a border town with Spain. The region is popular with tourists, many of whom are drawn to the medieval hilltop city of Carcassonne. But there were no shows and no tourists during this heavy flooding rain event. All roads in and out of this destination spot ruled inaccessible to the north of the Carcassonne municipality, while authorities ordered schools to shut for the safety of the students and the parents. The prefect of Aude, Mr. Alain Thirion, said there were indeed people stranded on rooftops and needed to be rescued and then evacuated by air because it was simply too dangerous to attempt this maneuver by boat. So as a result, seven helicopters and 700 emergency service workers were mobilized into action by France's Prime Minister back then, Monsieur Edouard Philippe, who had also taken the initiative early to visit the affected area. To minimize the potential for a further strain on resources, residents of the worst hit areas were urged to stay inside their homes by emergency services and local authorities who had taken the step of issuing a red alert, the highest on the public safety alert system. Welcome to year two of this podcast. Right now, you're listening to the full version of today's story on your favorite podcast provider. But there's also the daily podcast video short. They're shot right here in my podcast recording studio, so you get that perspective. But oftentimes, they will include visuals from that day's event, from when it happened, in weather history. So after listening to the full story, go check out the podcast video short on television or online anytime at theweathernetwork.com forward slash weather history. A bridge was ripped down and carried away by the force of that water. And staying there for a moment, an angry resident of that same affected town was reported to have accused Prime Minister Philippe of inadequate public information, including from the state media, when the flooding hit in the overnight and early morning hours, when it was at its worst. Then, people took to any and all forms of social media to share photos profiling the true, real-time extent of the damage to homes and streets in the area. There are many reasons why this was a particularly devastating event for a region that does still experience heavier rain events. One example comes from BBC's Chris Bachman. He postulated that, although heavy rain in the region is not uncommon at this time of year, it was that year enhanced by growing numbers of homes being built on floodplains. In the end, at least 10 people were confirmed as having been killed by the flash floods. And in a particularly sad and troubling note, local authorities said a nun was swept away by the river, while in a separate incident, a policewoman on the scene of a weather-related traffic accident in the town of Albi was killed after being hit by another motorist. There is no doubt that this was tragic, but this is the undeniable force of nature that can turn on a whim, and we have nothing to say about it. Just be prepared and plan ahead, including better urban expansion development in areas known for being a floodplain, or other events like this are likely going to continue to happen on days like this in weather history. Hey, do you like the podcast? We'd love to hear from you. If you have an idea, go right now to wherever you're listening to me and rate us, if you would, please. It's on a five-star system, and we would love as many stars as you can afford. So rate us, but then also review us. This way, we can always stay on top of how you'd like to see the show evolve. Then remember to subscribe to this podcast. Click the subscribe or follow button right there on the very same podcast homepage you're listening on. You'll be immediately reminded that the next day is ready to listen to, and you also have access to every episode in the archives. It dates back to June 1st of 2020, so there is a lot that we got to get caught up on on this day in weather history. Tomorrow is October the 15th, and back in 1925, it was the wettest, weirdest, wildest, World Series game between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Washington Senators. 
I've covered a few weather stories and how they affected pro sports. And I have a few baseball games in there. And tomorrow we take you out to the ball game for the deciding game seven of the 1925 World Series featuring actually Major League Baseball versus the weather. Tune in tomorrow to find out who won on this day in weather history with me, your host, Chris May.